Hey guys, Dark Humility here. You can always catch me at www.twitch.tv backslash Dark Humility, usually seven days a week, streaming Diablo 2. Today we have a real treat for you guys today, or maybe not. I don't know. We'll see what this uh, up to this. Let's see what let's see what actually happens here. This is a challenge, D clone kill. Alright, so this is on hardcore Project Diablo 2 season 2. Get that out of the way. We're going to be trying to kill D-Clone with a Smiter using full Arathas set. Uh, Astrians, Hotspurs, and Prayer Aura. Um, on Hardcore, and uh, try to do it without dying. I don't know if my gear is 100% appropriate for this. There's definitely some other gear options that definitely come to mind here that could potentially work. Uh, I'm going a bit more of a defensive approach overall. So I'm gonna go over the gear and then we're just gonna jump right in and see what happens. Uh, no matter what, uh, I will be uploading this video even if we die or biff it almost. Even if we biff it fast, you know, it'll be a nice blooper or something or other. So uh, this will be pretty awesome stuff. I hope you guys are, uh, are ready for the fun. Um, no matter what happens. So the idea is to try to kill D-Clone. Once again, with a hardcore smiter and uh, with full Arathas. <laughs> and hopefully we don't die. Um, chat is betting on the outcome, whether or not I, uh, I lose or whether or not I win. If I run out of potions, I will attempt to save and exit. But before that, um, it's just it's ride or die, baby. Ride or die. So uh, let's get it. Uh, let's look at the stats real quick just to see what we're up against here. So we have 2,500 smite, but I'm going to be honest, it's not insanely impressive, really. Um, not insanely, not insanely. Um, every paladin combat skill seems to add about 100 damage, though, which is nice. Um, we are not going to be focusing on that, though. We're trying to get, like, 60 life here um, in each set of charms, so we actually want a lot more charms. Um, defense, we got 12,000. It's pretty good. I have max block as well, which is important for his hose, and so we don't just get totally destroyed by his melee attacks, I'm assuming. Uh, yeah, one thing I should also mention about this is that this is totally blind, no practice at all. Um, I don't practice D-Clone. I never practiced last season. We failed the first attempt, but then I came back with slightly different gear, and we uh, succeeded in every attempt since then. Um, some of them were really close, to be fair, but um, we have succeeded since then, and uh, haven't had an actual death in Hardcore to D-Clone yet. Uh, we got super close, though, last season, so we'll see what actually happens here, but let's get it, though. Anyway, I have a lot of life, mana, energy, defense, I have enough strength to wear my gear. On swap, we don't have as much block, so we don't want to stay on our swap for too long. Uh, especially in melee range, but we're going to be using CTA to cast Battle Cry to hopefully do a little bit more damage against him. Um, I am not the first one to kill him with the Smiter. I've heard from Intelligence that the Smiter is actually the first D-Clone kill on Hardcore. Um, it's definitely not an easy build though overall um it's not something where you can just run around him and kill him with hydra or traps or something else it's it's actually gonna you're actually gonna have to tank him and uh try to use your potions wisely that being said i don't know if i'm actually gonna succeed there but you know that's what it is we have 95 all red so this is a combination of my gear and a combination of putting some skill points here uh, we have 29% damage reduction. Now, this is probably my most pain point stat. Since we're using full of Rothas, we're not, like, stacking tons of DR. We also have 27 hit recovery, which is something, but arguably 48 might be a bit more comfortable, to be honest. I don't know if it's necessary, though. No idea. I have, a, I have some kind of information. I mean, I've done D-Clone, like, 10 times last ladder, so... This is our first attempt in Season 2 with uh, what might be largely a meme build because it's definitely not ideal, but we're going to attempt to do it nonetheless, like I said many times here. Alright, so we have the damage reduction, we have the hit recovery, we have maximum attack speed, 
All right. Um, yeah, that's pretty much all that's really important. Uh, we have prayer for the mana leech and everything else, but it's not... I mean, sorry, life leech. It's a vision of terror, so it's going to teleport us into the death zone very soon. Mm-hmm. What's up, Nightcrawler? Uh, we're about to start very soon here. Alright, so anyway, we have Prayer maxed out. Uh, this is supposed to give us regen as we run around him. Um, and then, of course, we have maxed Fanaticism for damage and for attack speed. And uh, we have Max Holy Shield for damage and defense. Block. And of course we have maxed out Smite, so we have maximum damage on that. So, also have our one point into Joust. Uh, pretty good stuff overall. We have also some extra points into Resist Lightning and Resist Cold. Those abilities are allowing us to hit 95 all res with our gear. Now check out the gear. We have our Asrins, four Pcom skills. We have slows target here as well. We have a shaft stop, one shale. We have three socket or rothas with two ohms or a low. We have an one max all resistances or rothas. We have an up haws. Just key for that damage. The shield matters for damage. Um, that's where your damage is scaling off of. Also has a nice corruption and an unrun in it. We have a 6-5-2 CTA. Not insanely ideal. I think 4 battle cry would be a bit better here, but that's okay. I rolled it myself, so it is what it is. On the offhand, we also have a Haws. Unrun in it. We have Hotspurs with life. We have a Rafa's with Replenish Life. V Gaze sound for the Hardcore Grail. Good luck on Declan. Hey, thank you, Cash. I hope that was a good find. Now, yeah, what's up? So, this is an exclamation D, uh, PD2. This is a mod. It's a very fun mod. It's pretty cool. They made Declone way harder, by the way, if you guys don't know how it works in PD2. Declone is very, very dangerous. You're not just going to kill him with a standard smiter that easily. We have PDR here, we have Cold Res here, we have Fire Resist here. Indeed, indeed. Hey, what's up, Lydia and Daryl? How you doing? How are we doing, miss? So, yeah, this is what it's... So, it's a lot of good stuff. There's a lot of Sorb, Maximum Res, Regen... And only hope we just don't get totally butt blasted, but who knows. Not gonna lie, I'm a little bit nervous, but at the very least, it might be able to gather some data from this fight to understand what's actually necessary to kill him, if we don't actually succeed. I don't know what's gonna happen. Definitely not a... <laughs> saying, oh, we're gonna kill him! But we might. We might. We might. Anyway, it looks like the uh, chat has finished their uh betting poll so i think we have shown off all the gear okay we want blood we want blood all right shake out the hands a bit all right here we go everyone that's in here can watch it live let's see what happens are we going to die this season or are we going to be victorious? Or are we going to get down to the last health? Well, let's see what happens. Fire. Okay. Okay.
Okay. Come on, kill him. Go, 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 go. Item. Get him! Die! I'm gonna run out of potions, I think. I think we're gonna run out of potions. Oh fuck.
What? <laughs> I ran out of potions. What the hell? Hmm. You want some feedback? Uh, sure. Well, that was an attempt, at least. All right. So what? What did we do wrong exactly? Damn, I just drained my potions, basically. Oh, I chucked my cube, too. Fuck. <laughs> I lost my cube. <laughs> what are his stats? They're insanely high, dude. You know, I'm surprised, though. I was able to tank his hose pretty well, so I don't think the hose is doing very much. At 95 light res, his hose really doesn't do much at all. Like, his hose is like a baby attack. I can definitely tank the hose. That's not the issue there. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> Looks like you need more damage and you got it. I don't know. What 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 do you think went wrong? Let's let, let's see here. I know. You'll need only a few things. Don't tink the lightning hose. Don't tink the meteors. Why, though? Don't tank the lightning hose and meteors. Wouldn't I just, like, lose more health running around him in circles, though? <laughs> oh, man. Oh, he has so much health, man. That fool is so freaking ridiculous, man. I swear. The problem is low damage. I agree. I I think my my survival's decent. Yeah, I mean I was able to survive him. It seemed. I mean it didn't seem like he was gonna kill me at any point necessarily. <sighs> they do the most damage. Sometimes you block lightning hose. That is why you skip some damage. Also, you can run around with prayer. I mean, I was doing that a little bit. I didn't really feel like the prayer was super effective, though. Oh, no. Oh, it's so hard, dude. <laughs> oh, damn. Average chance Diablo will hit me. Okay, so. Alright, so my damage is 2,500. Well, yeah, it made up for it with CB, but CB doesn't work past a certain point. As I was getting him pretty low, though. I mean, it's not like I was super far away. By using time to regen instead of potions? Hmm. Yeah, I know that, but... Uh, you have to, like, avoid all the damage while you're supposedly regening, otherwise the regen isn't fast enough. Actually, it doesn't even seem like prayer is that effective, not gonna lie. Like, I had prayer up, and it didn't seem to heal you very quickly. I mean, it heals you kind of, but... <laughs> I think you used up a bit too many pots early, and you need a bit more damage. Hmm. No, that's prayer rank max, bro. It's max rank prayer. I don't know, the prayer didn't seem like it was that insane. Hey, I didn't die, okay? I mean, maybe it's fine. Oh, God, he's such a pain in the ass, dude. <laughs> Throw out the charms for more potions. Mm, I don't know if we were really that close, though. I think, like, six more potions and we still wouldn't have done it. Uh, try again. You just want to see me die. No, I didn't die. He's still alive. Hmm. DPS during hose is probably more worth it. Yeah, I was going to say that the hose isn't doing any damage to me with 95 light res. It doesn't seem to be doing too much damage. I should be hitting him when he's trying to hose me. 
Like, I, I, I would be so surprised at this build, based on what I just tested right there. So we learned something, guys. We learned something. We learned something, and based on what we tested, we learned th that maybe I need more damage, one. Two, I think taking the hose is fine on this build, actually. Uh, I think that's actually when I should be doing damage. Um, the Bone Spirits, of course, is a whole nother problem altogether. You need at least 4,000 damage. Really? 4,000 damage. So, in order to get 4,000 damage, what do you do? I I'm guessing... I'm guessing I would need to use my Peacombs, huh? Okay, so I need more damage. So, you know, no one ever told me about maybe damage ranges I might need, but I guess more damage is probably, like, absolutely necessary. I don't know. I guess my health is pretty good. Maybe... Maybe we do need Peacombs, huh? I don't know. What do you guys think? You guys think Peacombs might make a difference here? Skillers. Yeah. Skillers. I have skillers. That's the funny part. I actually have skillers. More damage, quicker fight equals less pots. True. True, true, true. Life. Ecom skillers. Hmm. Well. I mean. Uh, If you one shot D clone, you won't need any pots. All right, all right, all right, all right. So I think I have a general idea of what we actually need to do here. Oh, I would with a grief. Well, it's remember that damage doesn't contribute to the sheet damage at all. Um, does not contribute. Okay, so ay ay ay. I don't know if I have enough potions, not gonna lie, but well, we can see how many potions I have and we can try it one more time today. One more time. We're gonna post this video no matter what, though. Alright, maybe this can help people understand exactly what you need to kill him. Grief is no good anymore? Nope. Level's over 90? I have 90. I'm level 90. I can give me potions? Okay, well... Here's the deal, here's the deal. If we fail again with more damage, or we die, which is very possible. I don't think that matters too much, man. I don't think that's gonna matter. Like, I think... I think the key here is trying to see if we can get our damage high enough. We don't die. Um, I will, I will, I, I think I'm going to attempt it again here in a second. Um, Smite doesn't do a lot of damage though. It's true. Like I've, it, it definitely took a long time to pump his ass. 100%. So, I don't know. I mean, I got him below the D, pretty much. That's that's where I got him, and then I had to save and exit. It's, uh, he... We, we were in the final phase of the fight, though, so we were definitely in... We were definitely gonna have a hard time surviving anyway, because there's meteors and there's spirits everywhere. I'm Smiter, though. I'm a smiter, I always hit him. I always hit him, no matter what. I'm a smiter. You're right if it's AR based, but smite is not AR based. Smite is a um Smite is a uh, a guaranteed hit. You haven't seen it before? Okay. We can show it again, we can show it again, okay. Show it again. Very soon here. I'm gonna do one more attempt, and then I think we're gonna have to reassess this for later, if we fail this. 
Oh, baby! <laughs> you gotta reassess this. So what I'm gonna do is I have the Pcoms. You guys know I have the Pcoms, right? I mean, I have them. But I really didn't want to use gear that's that good. Um, now I risk just dying. Like a fool. But, you know, we had potions. He missed the first attempt. We're still alive. We ran out of potions, Sky, because we got him below the D. And... He, uh... Smite doesn't do a lot of damage. You need a lot of damage somewhere. You need a pretty solid amount of damage. Still alive, at least. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, for sure. We're gonna try it one more time. So, uh, for everyone who just came in, we're gonna go try him one more time. We're trying to kill him with Smite. It's not an easy thing to do. I need to try to avoid... Meteors, if possible. I think the Meteors would be nice to avoid. I, I, I tried to avoid a lot of the Meteors, but man, it's so tough. There's so many of them. Yeah, anyway, go on, Coon! What's up, man? Anyway, it's, it, it's... It's a bit of a struggle. I, I do need another cube. Does anyone have a cube on him? Want juvies. I have juves here. I might have enough here. If not, I'm gonna need more. <laughs> uh, so... We had to save an exit because we literally were completely out of juves and we got him below the D, but couldn't finish him off. <laughs> I am not the most mechanically gifted player ever though. I mean I I thought we did an okay job, but Oh yeah, where's your money? Um Pluto Time, are you there? Can you distribute the money? People can predict again if you want, but I don't think we was. Uh, the first attempt was a fail, just like last season, as most always is. Ah, we need a cube. Okay, Blackrock. What game are you in? I might need some more, actually. What's up, Lizader? How you doing? Make a game. If, if you guys have a game open, I need to go into the game. I'll try it again. Oh, man. Uh, just kill Trav. Alright, I could kill Trav for the cube. Trav doesn't always drop one, does it? Uh... I'll need all those. So what I need to do... Wait, do you have a cube or no? Okay, there we go. Your damage up to 3.5. Can I even do that though? I don't know. Um, I'm. Okay, if you want me to pick those up, I can, but I need a normal game for it. I guess we're a nightmare. Ah, uh, boy. That's a, that's a fight, dude. <sighs> Scary as shit, man. Demon Limb? Will Demon Limb actually get us more damage on Smite? I don't think so. No, I don't think it does. No, because remember, guys, Smite always hits. It doesn't use attack rating. 
Um, there's a lot of things about it that are very different from a lot of other skills. It, it, it's not... <laughs> it's not that simple. Uh, if you bring the potions to Toad 5, password 666, you can do that. Smite can go up to 5k damage. Yeah, but how do you get that much damage, though? You'd have to have different gear, right? Well, let's see what happens if we stack 8 more peacombs. I have these peacombs from my hammered in, but... Well... Um, we die with the hammered in's peacombs. It's a little sad, but, you know... Wouldn't be the end of the world. The Haas is up, yeah. Yeah, I mean, I guess I underestimated the skillers, Red Virus, not gonna lie. Alrighty! Rooney life. I can already tell that I'll be your best friend in this forsaken place. <laughs> oh, man. What are you talking about? Skillers probably skill better than I thought they do. I mean, I guess maybe that's the mistake I made yesterday was... I mean, I was saying then, people were like, you probably want skillers, but then... I don't know. I didn't realize I needed that much more dip. I thought my damage would be okay. But, you know, why am I not surprised? Smite don't do any damage. Smite don't do any damage at all. <sighs> wow. You know, I bricked a lot of items recently, too. Bricking items is fun. It's the, it's the best part of the game, right, chat? Uh, let's see here. I'm trying to see what I can actually afford here. Oh man, we're gonna lose so much health though. But I guess it's kill or be killed, right? Kill or be killed. Or be killed, man. Oh, man. What's up, Tugboat? How you doing? Thank you so much for the follow. Welcome to the Cult of Xanander's Day. No, I don't have that much damage. We have 3.5, just like what you said. 3.5. 3.5. Okay. Alright. Well. Sink or drown. Let's go. Yeah, that's not the saying. Sink or drown. Is 2.5k, so that's a pretty large increase in damage. It is almost a thousand damage increase. Definitely not getting 4k though, doing that. that that's as much as I can get, really, I think. That's as much as I can afford. Okay, here we go. Let's do it. Let's 
sink or drown. <laughs> I sure like my options. Drown or drown. Swim or swim. We're not missing anything. <sighs> All right, here we go. I could do it. All right, chat. So, chat and YouTube. I left. I left. I left it. I left it running. I left the record running. Because we're gonna do this attempt here, and that's it. No matter what. Hopefully, we can actually do it. Got him pretty low, but once it gets that low, it gets really hard to finish him off. So let's see if we can actually do it this time, or if we're gonna have an epic fail. I have crushing blow it's on the weapon. Become the meat that breaks the machine. All right, chat. Here we go. For all the cookies in this, in the, in the cookies are our jar. Four? No, no. We need dr, man. We need dr badly. We need Haas for the damage. Um, Zachram shield, you need the damage, you need everything. Don't waste time in the fight. I'm trying not to, but. Like, I, got, I, I, I sat on top of him for a long-ass time last fight, because I was trying to get the damage out. I, I, I had a feeling we were going to run out of potions. <sighs> but yeah. All right. Oh, baby. You come lifers. Let's do it. You can't bow. You can't bow. It's going to wear off. The, uh, it, when you enter the fight, you have to rebuff yourself. I am nervous. Whoo! It's hardcore, man! <laughs> it's hardcore! Alright, SFS. Supposed to be nervous. Shaking it off. Hey! Here we go. Let's do it. Let's fucking do it.
it to two meteors. Yeah, I know. I know. I know, and the Invisifier hit me too. Oh, man. Wow. Damn. Well, I think last fight was better. I, I lost 200 HP compared to the previous fight because I put on the P-Combs. And... <laughs> and I, um... I guess losing that 200 HP kind of uh, gave me a wrong idea about tanking things. I felt like that fight actually went worse than the last fight, but then again, I got him down way faster. Like, I wasn't already at half HP at that point. There. Um, it's, a uh, Well, I mean... It was something. Those P-Combs, Sag. Yeah, those P-Combs are pretty nice. Well, I mean, if you tempt it with shitty P-Combs, it's probably not gonna work. Damn. How much health? Oh, he was almost at his half one. Uh, he comes with the biggest loss. Yeah, the rest of it really wasn't super insane, to be honest. I mean, I guess a three socket or Roth is crown. Shitty Annie, shitty Torch. <laughs> hey, you know, we almost killed him in that first fight. It's just I didn't have enough damage. Getting more, getting more health though, it's just, it's super tough. It is a very tough fight. Um, people have done it with less HP, I think slightly, but man, that's like crazy hard, dude. That looked a lot better. I mean, the damage did look a lot better, yeah. The damage was definitely a lot better for sure, but... Yeah. Damn. Yeah, rip that Astrians, man. Yeah. Well, I mean, we attempted it, I suppose. I, I didn't really think... I mean, after that first fight, I didn't think I'd die, but... Yeah, I don't know. For some reason, it felt like I was going... I felt like I was closer to dying more often in this fight, even though I was killing him faster. And I think the problem is, like, if you... If you ever run into, like, multiple of those abilities, you're just dead. <laughs> I need that damage and the previous health. Yeah, exactly. If I had the damage and the previous health, I think I might have been fine. I actually needed a double juve there because I got hit by... Yeah. I didn't see that, though. I didn't see it fast enough. <laughs> Why is this D-clone so much harder than Pluggy? Okay, uh, he's got... He's got, like, a billion health. One. Uh, you can't Crushing Blow him down, because Crushing Blow's been heavily nerfed. I used Crushing Blow to get him pretty low, though. Um. Try it with Hydra. Yeah, I mean... Uh, that's the easiest build to do it with. The, the point of this challenge is to try to kill him with a smiter. Obviously, we failed, but... I mean, at least you learned some things, like... Maybe you actually want insanely good gear before attempting this with a smiter. Um, I mean, I didn't have this most insane gear. You could have had better gear. Um, another thing I learned is... Well... I don't know. Deb with a full belt of Jews. Um, I didn't have a full belt of Jews, but I'm assuming I didn't have many left. I, I, I actually just got one shot there. Like, I got hit. I think I got slapped by meteors, and I think my health just dropped way too fast in that area there. I should have, I should have ran outside once I saw there was so much fire around him. I think I should have gone back on the outside. But, um... It's not cheese. It, it, it's not cheese, but I think for me, it's like I wanted to try something tougher because I did the easiest build last ladder. I did Bladeson. And yeah, this is a lot tougher, man. 
A lot tougher. You were tanking meteors and you're restocking the belt. That's what I mean. Last time it felt like I was getting a bit better meteor RNG as well. Which definitely was helping. But I didn't have enough damage. Damn, man. Uh, yeah, so exclamation HC free. Uh, if you pick three items from that list, you can uh, you can choose them. And pluggy, you play with no ping. Well, that too. That too. Mm, you only truly died if you didn't learn anything. Well, I also learned that smite is not... I mean, smite, it's possible to kill him with smite, but it might not be the best build. Um, after seeing this, like... I think it, I mean, Zeal, Zeal is nice. Zeal would be probably pretty solid. But, um, I don't know. You missed it? Uh, I did two attempts, Death Be Proud. I did two attempts. The first one, I got him below the D, and then I had to save an exit because I ran out of jubes. Uh, I didn't do enough damage because I wasn't using peak homes. I put on my peak home lifers. I went for broke. But my health went down by about 200, and I think that mattered here. I think it did. And... yeah. <laughs> oh, man. Uh, he, D-clone, D-clone's like, ha, ha, ha. Oh, ha, ha, ha. It's like Bowser and like Super Mario 64. Oh, 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 oh. <laughs> 80 max life small charms. Max damage doesn't affect smite. Mmm. Zealer with exile, death, and G face. That could work. You do need to get you do need to get enough tank stats, but yeah, that could work. You do need enough DR, though. You do need enough DR. It's really hard to melee mode him. Stone Free has a crazy high health uh, Fury Jude he does it with, which apparently might be a better idea. Um, and then with the Fury Jude, you run around faster, so you can, like, dodge the hose, even though you can't really tank it on that character. You can dodge it. Like, I could tank the hose on this character, but... Yikes. Yeah, I got him below the D. That is a great clip. Wait, let me, let me actually see the clip here. Let me actually see what happened. <laughs> Holy shit. Wait, wait, wait. I want to see something here. Oh. Whoa. <laughs> oh, man. I juve just a little too late. Jew just a little too late. And he I think he actually shot out his first uh his first Bail Nova from hitting half HP. Hard to say though. <laughs> Did he? Is, was that what that was? Yeah, I think so. So he he got his first Nova. Right at the same time, I sat in the fire, and I got... Wait, let me see the meteors. Oh, yeah. Oh, my goodness. Wow. <laughs> uh... Fire, man. That's so hard. Oh, man. Oh, people, people die with sort. Yeah. Summoner, Summoner Druid? They don't survive him. Yeah, I think we got him to half. Can you guys... Yeah, it's almost half, yeah. It might have counted it as when he should... I think that's phase two there. So he hit me with the Nova at the same time I got hit by a Meteor. Oh. Yeah, red dive with his sorceress. You can die with the sorceress for sure. 
I think it was because he had mouse problems, though. Uh, I got triple fired. Well, that was also what happened, too. I think I should have got out there. There's too much fire. Like, I should have known better. I was being stubborn about trying to get damage in, though. Ah, uh, well... That's about it. That's it for the smiter, guys. Well, GG. GG, uh, YouTube. GT, GG, uh... GG Twitch. Um, you can check out my PD2 build guides, of course, on my channel and www.twitch.tv backslash dark humility if you want Diablo 2 related content seven days a week. We failed! This is our first uh, legitimate monster hardcore death in two seasons on Project Diablo 2. You witnessed it firsthand. We died a Diablo clone attempting to kill him with a smiter. It did not work. It did not work. Uh, what I mean by legitimate death is I mean one that wasn't caused by uh, some kind of server issue or a crash bug. We're talking like, we only had one of those to be fair, but we're talking like an actual honest to god hardcore death. This is a hard fight. Um, in melee mode, you... You gotta make sure you're paying attention to everything, and it's really hard to pay. There's so much stuff going on on the screen. Uh, there's a lot of there's a lot of stuff going on indeed. So, uh, Diablo is moonwalking. Yeah, he is. He's moonwalking into the into the pillar. Yeah, see, he's doing the moonwalk. Yeah, I don't know. With a nice weapon on software, I've had tests you can eat him in two minutes. Druid is faster than the Sork with what? What build are you talking about? Well, anyway, guys, GG. We are, uh, that is a dead character. We're going to continue doing some other stuff today. Um, we'll, uh, come back to this possibly later, um, to try to get, you know, some kind of a kill on him, but we tried something hard and it didn't work. Um, we, it's possibly just execution error. Like I said, I think I made some crucial errors there, especially at that exact moment. Um, it's just a really hard fight, so uh, make sure you guys are prepared for it, especially if you're going to do it on hardcore. Uh, melee mode again, this is so hard! Well, anyway, if you want to see my successful kills from the Blade Sin, you can also check them out from last season. <laughs> but uh, we, we got to see two fights, and the last one, rip the peak home lifers, right? Rip the peak home lifers. GG. Alright, anyway guys, uh, we, we're going to get this one filed under hardcore death. All right, uh, GG. See you guys later. Peace out. All right.